Casino dealers have reddit what's the biggest hand you've seen someone play and lose. How did they take it? Saw a young guy put all the money he had, $200, on one hand of blackjack. He gets blackjack. Now he has $500. He puts all of it on the next hand. Wins again. He keeps on winning and putting everything he had on the next hand till he's playing the table maximum, $5,000. He builds it all the way up to $60,000. The dealer starts telling him to take the money and run. He said it didn't matter, he was just there to have fun. He ends up losing it all, and he actually didn't care. Worked as dealer a couple years ago. This regular came in. He usually played poker, but sometimes he played some blackjack before going to the poker room and sat down at my table and started to play. After 15 minutes he might have won one or two hands and he was down $45,000. He didn't even react, barely shrugged and walked up to the poker room instead. One of my normal dealers and cat told me about dealing on the river boats in Louisiana. Some guy comes in with 4 grand, plays for a few hours and eventually walks away with a million. Here's the kicker. He didn't give her a single tip. Not even a dollar. Instead, he insisted that he shakes the dealer's hand, which is a big no-no, but the pit boss allowed it. Karma is out for that one. I once went to a casino with my friend. We were playing low limit craps, all of a sudden the dealer goes look it's Randy. I was like, who the fuck is Randy? Turns out it's Randy Moss. He was really cool with my friend and I. So he was playing pass line and odds and all the numbers. And the shooters were hitting well. I called the next roll as a hard 8 randomly, and Randy just hands me 50 in chips. And tipped the dealers out it as well. He made a quick 4 to 5 grand, in about 25 minutes. Class act. Not a dealer, but I used to be a compulsive gambler. I spent many many nights in high limit rooms. I was a regular at a few casinos in my area, and was constantly winning and losing between 1 and 5,000 a night a few nights a week, depending on my luck. The best night I had, was I turned 200 into a little over 10k playing blackjack one night. Worst was losing 5k, that I had won the night before in about 15 minutes. Generally, even the high rollers gamble only 50 to 250 a hand in blackjack. However, there was a guy that would bet between 2, 4k a hand, and I would regularly see him betting 10, 30k a hand, if he was having a hot night. At the casino I typically went to they had purple and white $500 chips, and he had a chip holder like they dish out for poker. Completely filled with those, he had a credit line with a casino, and could take out 100k in credit out at a time no problem. I saw him do this 3 times in a single night, no idea. But by far the craziest gambling I ever saw was last spring at the Cosmopolitan Casino in Las Vegas. A young Asian kid was at a craps table and throwing around 10k chips like they were water. He had probably 500k worth of chips in front of him. I've got all kinds of stories from my two years as a high roller gamble. Met all sorts of crazy individuals both rich or poor. Some stories are crazy and happy. Some insanely depressing. I live in Denmark, and in our elementary school we had a week where the school changed to be a little society, with their own banks and currency, small shops like a baker, a tailor, a wood shop, all kinds of fun small things. But the biggest attraction were definitely a casino, or at least among the boys. And every student had a job somewhere, and we got paid with the society's currency every day. We got like $1 worth of money for one day. But the last day, all the parents were invited, and you could go to the bank, and change your money to the school's currency. So one of the older kids, 13 to 14 years old, bought $40 of monies, went to the casino, and all in on reds in the roulette. And that's how 13 to 14 years old kid lost $40 worth of money in a school casino. This is quite a few years back BTW. Colon closed bracket. I once turned $400 into just over $55,000 playing blackjack, it was crazy how fast it happened, or how fast it felt. I was only going to play, while a friend of mine, was taking care of something else nearby, then we were going to have lunch. Once I reached $55,000 I didn't stop, I just substantially lowered my betting. Had I continued betting the way I was, I would have been over $100,000. Eventually my friend called advising me he was done and to meet him at the diner. 
I never told anyone about my big win, most of my friends weren't doing that well, neither was I. I knew I would be resented if I didn't let them borrow money, which there was a huge chance of them not paying back. I wound up paying off all my bills, credit cards, car loan and a huge majority of my mortgage. I kept about $2k to play with. Winning that money made life so much easier, getting rid of all my bills, credit card debt, car loan and essentially paying off my mortgage was amazing. It's been a few years, but the long lasting impact has been awesome. I was never much of a gambler before this, and I've been even less of a gambler since. I'll play poker nights with friends, but I'll never bet more than a $100 a night now, whenever I go to the casino with friends. I'll always have that huge victory over the casino. I still think about how much better things would have been if I had stayed hard and got that dollar sign 100k, but dollar sign 55k was pretty damned good. I still can't believe how fast it happened. I just sort of went into a zone and everything was going right for me. In a way, I guess I lost about dollar sign 45k. But when you win dollar sign 55k, you just can't feel like a loser. Not dealer, just a player. I was playing pay gal poker, casino game, with a progressive jackpot. It was only around 150k, only. Guy next to me refused to play the progressive, costs $1 each hand, and also refused to play the fortune bonus. Side game single bet, wins on straight or better. He gets the 7 card straight flush which is the criteria for the progressive win. Doesn't get the dollar sign 150k, doesn't get paid the fortune bonus, 750 colon 1w slash joker, world bean 5000 colon 1 if natural, it was a low flush and ends up pushing the hand. Every time I see him, he comments on how much cold won. And every time I ask him why he'd play a progressive casino game w slash out playing the progressive bet. Once saw a guy going broke, and he was down to $38 at a 2 to 5 no limit table. With his stack dwindling, someone raises before the flop and everyone calls, then guy puts his $38 all in, and all 9 players call that too. Flop comes out, and one guy bets huge. Other dude calls. No bets on turn, but on the river the first guy goes all in. Second guy folds. First guy shows a bluff and wins a big side pot, while the $38 wins 9x's money with a pair of 7's. The next hand there's a ton of action, and the guy who 9's his money ends up getting it all in with multiple callers. He wins the pot, he had a small set, that beat a 2 pair and a flush draw, and takes over $1500 and walks away immediately. Not a dealer, but worked in a casino in various jobs for a few years. The biggest I was told about by a client was that he lost $10,000 in about a minute. He seemed pretty nonplussed. That's like him though. I worked in Vada at the time and he'd come in about 5 times a day, usually 4 under 10 minutes, and the only way you could tell whether he'd won all or lost is if he told you, or by going on what he tip. Nothing if he lost, dollar sign 5 dash 20 if he won, up to $100 if he won a lot. The biggest I was told about by a staff member was a guy who wanted $300,000 cash. I think about 5 security guards escorted the cash up to the VIP room, which is who I heard it from. They had to leave then though, he was in a private room which only has a very limited number of staff allowed at any given time. So I still don't know whether he won or lost. Was playing poker at Caesars in Vegas. I have AA, no diamond. I end up getting all in with a short stack on a KDQD 3s flop. He holds JDTD. Turn is as, river is at giving me quads, but him the royal. Pot was dollar sign 400 or so, not a big loss, but the big loss was that Caesars is the only harass property without a bad beat jackpot. Ironically, they have one now. For reference, had the same hand occurred at Red Rock that evening. I would have won 40% of dollar sign 280k. I saw the dealer 3 years later, and he still remembered me. Obligatory I'm not a casino dealer but. I used to gamble a lot in underground card clubs and casinos. I saw a guy lose his brand new tow truck in less than 10 minutes in a game of 4, 5, 6, also known as CeeLo, in the basement of an Italian cafe. That game is pure action and the variance is breakneck. The most I saw a guy lose on a poker table was $125,000.
The guy who lost the hand didn't say a word. He just took out his lighter and burned his whole cards right there on the table. No one said a word. He's dead now. Rip crazy Joe. The craziest reactions came from players at much lower stakes. Turning over tables. Ripping cards. Throwing chairs. Even attacking the dealers. I once saw a Russian dude lose a hand and promptly rip the clock off the wall and hit the dealer on the head with it. That place was surreal. I don't gamble anymore. Sorry buddy, a little late to the party. Biggest was on Baccarat. 400k, didn't bat an eyelid. Most turnover on my table was 20 million in 20 minutes. Biggest color change was 1 million chips. That was all in private rooms. On the high roller floor, most I gave a guy was 175k in an hour. He was fucking stoked, again on Baccarat. I gave an old lady 33k in Caribbean stud, since she got a straight flush, she didn't care at all. Most in blackjack was maybe 100k, over a night though, to a politician from Papua or one of those countries. He also liked to fuck men, but kept it hidden and secret. Roulette high rollers is only about 60k in an hour. Main gaming floor, roulette, around 30k, he was happy and left, but then came back and lost it to me. Blackjack maybe 20k, lost that was well. Baccarat, probably only 20, 25k, they kept most of that. Not a dealer, but my buddies and I were gambling at the $10 a hand tables at the wine, back when they still had them, and having a blast. A guy walks up, and asks if he can sit at the one open seat, which we say sure. He then takes out a dollar sign 50k marker from the house, and proceeds to lose all of it in about 25 minutes. After that, he tells us to enjoy our time in Vegas, and leaves like nothing happened. The pit boss told us he was some well-known poker player, so he had the money to burn I guess. Probably late to the party on this one, but I dealt high limit BJ for a few years. Some guys had limits higher than posted, the highest limits we had were 15k for one hand, 10k per two hands, 7k per hand for three hands. There were only a few guys that had those limits and even then didn't play table maximum all the time. The single hand that sticks out to me. Guy has 10k bet, splits, and doubles down one of the split hands. Lost all three, so. 30k. Got so pissed off her slammed his hand down and broke an orange chip. 1k. Took everything in me to keep a straight face. Guy was a dick and he deserved to lose every bet. I saw an opportunity for someone to win over 100k but it didn't qualify. Allow for me to explain. In Atlantic City, there is a bad beat jackpot which means that a dollar is raked from every hand, from every poker table, all day until someone hits the bad beat jackpot. Now the bad beat jackpot is when you lose a hand with four of a kind. The catch is that both your whole cards need to play and same with the person who beat you. For example, if your whole cards are AA against KK, and the cards are ARC 2, that's a bad beat qualifier. It doesn't qualify if it's A2 against KK and the board is ARC. See the difference? Now when the bad beat hits, the loser if the hand gets a heavy majority if the pot, 65% ish, the winner of the hand gets roughly 25%, and then the remaining players at the table, regardless if they were in the hand or not, split the remaining 10%, usually a couple thousand each, and then the entire poker room gets $400 each, just for playing at a table. So it's a very big deal when it hits and everyone gets crazy. Anyways, these two friends were playing at the same table, and were both in a hand together. Neither of whom wanted to take each other's money, so they checked it down, made no action, all the way to the end. Each of them had pocket pairs that hit for a four of a kind. They both realize that they hit the bad B jackpot until the floor of use the hand says there wasn't enough chips in play to qualify, over $20 pot. That's when the tears started to pour. Man was it devastating for all who were watching. Not the biggest hand, but the biggest lesson I ever saw, was one my friends and I ended up teaching someone at a roulette table. Dave brought about $300 to gamble with for the 3 days we were in Vegas. We were college students, and didn't have much. We were there for the electronics convention. Our group walked by a roulette table and the display board showed that black numbers had come up 4 times in a row. Dave says red is due. I'm betting on red. My friend and I, both in the math program. Tell him there is no due in roulette. Each number spun is independent. 
it's still pretty much 50 over 54 black slash red, if you don't worry about green. He says, no you're crazy. Even if he's wrong, on this spin, he'll just double it on the next one and eventually he'll win. It's his system. We flinch when we hear that, knowing it's the terrible Monty Hall system. He puts $5 on red. He loses. He puts $10 on red. He loses again. He puts $20 on red. He loses again. I tell him to stop. He says he's definitely due. I tell him I'll prove him wrong and bet against him. He puts $40 on red. I put $5 on black. I win. He's loses. He puts $80 on red. I leave my money on black. $10. I win. He loses. He puts the, the remaining money he has on red, about $175, and I leave my money on black, again. He loses the remaining amount of money. Black numbers had come up 10 times in a row. He had lost over $300, while I had made $20, I took it off the table, when he was done. He begged for someone to lend him money. The rest of our group said no. The next number. Green. The next number after that. Red. Not a dealer, but my parents are addicted to gambling. Seeing your mom down 50k or hearing how there is no money for X, when you know they just lost a couple grand in a casino stays with you. The worst is one of my siblings has the same problem. The worst, this sibling was up 75k only to lose it all, or losing 15k they just did not have, on CR.